A very jolly welcome back. Well, I say that, but I'm actually sad. Yep, this is the last week of my presidency. All the good that we have done here will soon be handed over to another person, either Jelly or Craner, and I'm kind of scared. Off camera, I've been dismantling my stage here as we won't need it for at least a few weeks, and I'm guessing we're gonna be able to put this to a better use doing something else. If you guys have any ideas, actually, let me know. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, this is Squid Island. It's a Minecraft world that me, Jelly, and Craner live in. Jelly's over there, Craner's over there, and things are a little complicated these days. But all you need to know is we have fun here. Oh, and this is the HQ of Bortco, the best business on the island, and also the home of the best boy on the island. Where is he? Let's just go have a look. Come on. There he is. Oh, he's a good boy. Yes, you are. Hey, cat. How you doing? Hope you're keeping our, our homie Bork, uh, well looked after. <clears throat> I don't know where this is going. Anyway. One of the things I was actually thinking could go here is a museum. Imagine that. A museum where we collect rare items and artifacts and mobs from not only the history of Squid Island, but also just rare stuff in general. That'd be pretty cool. I kind of like that idea. Let me know what you guys think, though. And maybe if you like the museum idea, let me know what things we could put inside of it. Whether it's Squid Island lore or just rare stuff in general. Anyway, one thing I need to do is pay my taxes. Yep, that's right. You can't hide from taxes, especially not in Squid Island. We gotta pay him. Although this is the last week that we gotta pay taxes that I set up. So let's go drop them off over here. So yeah, this is the taxes. 18 gold ingots. Boom. Oh, everyone else is paid. Good job. Oh yeah, one thing I was thinking about, now that Jelly has basically blown up the entirety of the vault. Actually, 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 that's a good point. We should probably head down here and just make sure that we've salvaged everything because the the resources, the valuables have been temper. Oh. oh, okay. Someone started rebuilding it. Well, let's get rid of the redstone for now and put that in our vault because that's where we are temporarily holding the valuables. I'm guessing that Jelly has started rebuilding it, although he's clearly not prioritizing it. But it's nice to know that he's acknowledging what he's done. Although don't worry, I do have a plan for punishment. That's kind of what we're going to be getting onto today. So I've already dug a little hole over here, but... First of all, I want to just change this billboard setup. Now that we can't even get in there properly, I want to make the entrance down there. And we don't have much time left as president to really do these like big picture changes. And look at all of this. Like, I mean, why did Jelly think this was a good idea to literally build like a redstone TNT? Like what possibly goes through someone's mind to be like, oh, I'm going to protect something by aiming a gun at it. Like, that is what we're dealing with here. I, I honestly, I don't even know. It's, it's happened. Managed to save some of the resources. We do have to move on. But yes, people do need to be punished. I know I'm teasing you guys a little bit with what the solution is going to be. But we will get there. We will get there. I just want to change this a little bit because I want a bit more room. Okay, there we go. That's the, the new entrance there. We might need to tell the others. That's okay. So there we go. Our new notice board. The entrance to the vault has been changed. And yeah, we've got the tax here, the task here. And then now we've got more room. I've put up a little notice. Looking for a supplier of gold, please contact Bortco. Because we've built a carrot farm. A really, really good one, actually. And I want to be able to build or create golden carrots. And I've heard that someone might have gold. So I think that would be quite a good relationship to build on. That's all of our administrative bits out of the way. However, we do need to drop the redstone off into the vault. Everyone look away, please. There we go. There we go. Du -du 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 -du. Let's drop this down on this wall here. Redstone isn't like that valuable as a resource, but it's more about just having a bunch of resources. That's what counts. All right, look away again, please. Look away. There we go. All right, all closed up. Now we're going to need to head off in a boat today because we're heading over to the prison. This is a building that we created to put Craner in when he committed a few crimes. And I think it's about time that it had another guest. That is right. I want to put Jelly in prison. Well, I, I mean, look, I'm not going to be president the next time we see each other. And I have a little bit of a feeling that if it is Craner, we did endorse him. We did say that we would support him as president. Well, let's just say I think he's going to want to punish Jelly. He's done a lot of things, but blowing up our vault is 
definitely one of them. So I think we should set up a new prison here. Last time we set it up, we had a sky block thing for Craner for, and, and a few tasks for him to complete. I'm thinking we do something a little bit similar, but also at the same time, a bit painful. I think we put him to work. What I want to do is get him on the old manual labor. We're going to basically make it like a work uh, a camp so that, yeah, I mean, he can, he can think about the mistakes he's made while um, chopping away at the ground. I think it's going to be very beneficial for him. I think it's going to be maybe even therapeutic, some could say. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by building a little bit of a quarry area. And then we'll, I think what we'll do is we'll get him to dig like a certain amount of blocks down. But we're also going to provide him with pretty basic resources to use. And I guess we'll have like a quota, like a quota of resources that he needs to provide in order for his prison sentence to be considered, you know, achieved. Then we'll also add a few other things. I'm thinking about maybe chopping down trees, fishing, like all of the basics that you would sort of ex expect. I think actually maybe this is probably a decent size. If we put, if we, if we made it in this area here, that could be where the quarry is. So we'll fill this bit back in. All right, there we go. We've got that dug out. So I think what should we do for the this then, the quarry? I think we should request him to fill up one chest of resources. That probably seems like a reasonable amount. He needs to use the quarry to fill up, fill this up. Fill this chest with resources from quarry. There you go. So that's the first step. Then next up, I want to make our pond. Doesn't have to be crazy big, but this is going to be the area where we're going to get Jelly to be fishing. And then I guess this is going to be another example of getting him to fill up a, a chest worth of fish. I think that'd be good. We've got a few more different steps that we can make. And hopefully while he's doing this, he'll be thinking about what he's done at the same time. The mistakes that he has made. Is the infinite water bucket glitch just something that was put in the game and then everyone was like, it would be really annoying if you fix that. Just imagine how different Minecraft would be if you couldn't just like infinitely create water. I actually think it would be kind of interesting. Okay, there we go. Let's grab those, fill that in. And then let's get this dug a little bit deeper. Although my very good shovel is soon to break. So we've got to be a bit careful. I'm actually pretty proud of this. I've done something a little bit cool, a little bit, a little bit extra just to add a bit of pizzazz. Ah, I have made this area connect to the actual ocean just to make it a little bit more believable. And then I made these bars here to close it off. I think I need to like waterlog these though for them to look correct. But yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And the bars are on our restricted blocks list. So gonna have no issues with jelly here. Oh, I missed a block. So there you go. There's our fishing spot. We'll chuck the chest down right here and then put a sign on it. Fill this chest with fish from fishing. All right, what are we going to do next? I think what we will do is the, the the trees, cutting the trees. I think the best way to do this would be to put a few different tree growing spots down. And then we can basically just chuck these in here. They will definitely have grown by the time that Jelly goes in. And look, he can change this up if he wants, but... That'll work. And then we'll put another chest just here. Fill this chest with wood from chopping trees. So next up, I'm going to build a little house. You might be wondering, what? why are you going to build a little house? Well, you will see. You will see. Don't you worry. No worrying here is allowed. It's not going to be a crazy house, but it's going to be a place of reflection for Jelly. It's going to be a place where he can sit down and, and write about everything that he has done wrong. I know, right? It's a great idea. So we're going to put like a lectern and a little chair down with a book and we're going to ask him to write a certain amount of pages on what he's done wrong and how he's going to be better next time. Now you might be saying that sounds a little patronizing and uh, you would be correct. Yes. So we'll put some little windows here and oh, isn't that just just really just ah oh, it's very quaint very comfortable little abode. So we'll put that there and then we'll put the chair there. We'll put signs on the side so it actually looks like a proper chair. And I cannot forget the front door. We'll just keep it simple. Just a wooden door is fine. 
Use this book and house to write 10 pages on your mistakes. And then I feel like we need one more. One more thing right here. But what... What could it be? I think I have a very good idea. Very good idea indeed. All right. First of all, I'm just going to separate out an area here. Fill the border in with this stone. And then I'm going to quickly grab something. I will be right back. We've got a stack of gravel here. Let's see what this looks like when we place it down. Okay, there you go. That's a stack right there. So we're going to have Jelly <laughs> turn this stack of gravel into flint. That means he has to literally uh, break it, pit place it, break it, place it over and over until it is fully converted to flint. And we can put a chest down right here. Convert this stack of gravel into flint and put in chest. So there we go. We have one, two, three, four, five things for him to do. I think that's going to more or less keep him busy. I think Craner, if he does become president, will be pr very proud of what we've done. I think last thing we're going to do is just write a quick book to explain what he's going to be doing here. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, the prison guide is complete. However, we'll be going through this in the next group video. So you have to wait for that. But we'll chuck it down there. And I would say our work here is done. The final task I need to do, as this is basically the last time I'll ever be president, is it's time to return the president's trident and also return the president's suit. I am now just a mere citizen of Squid Island, but I don't see this as an end. I see this as a beginning, a new beginning. I'll see you next time.